Okay, so cloud tags. This is the site as it is. It's a straightforward HTML page. We've got some anchors inside uh, list items. It renders um, gracefully. No JavaScript, no CSS required, um, and that's what you get for your dollar. This is a bit of CSS applied to it now. Just a background colour on the uh, anchor uh, of the <laughs> list item, and obviously the uh, colour. Uh, of the font goes over to white as well. Nothing too exciting, but great effect, and we're already there. And here we are with the uh, JavaScript version. Um, hopefully, we'll get random uh, colors, random font size, and uh, random underlining. Um, uh, uh, and that's the tag cloud effect. Fairly smart. I enjoy it. It's great uh, and easy to apply. So cloud tags and the HTML side of it. This is the uh, model that we'll be using. I've just got a simple wrapper going around uh, some tags and it's these tags that are the interesting parts. The class applied here on the list item is really for the background colour, the pink, you know, on the pseudo mouse over. What I've done is just set four sizes. You can change these. Uh, it's just so, so it degrades gracefully and that works with or without the JavaScript. And here we've got uh, a class on the anchor tag itself. That's simply there for the JavaScript to run through, and that's how it, when it walks the DOM, it's going to recognise which elements it wants to change. So that's it. You can have as many lists in there as you like. Um, nothing exciting. This is the uh, function call to the do clouds, which we'll be looking at because it's stored inside here. And uh, before that, we'll be looking at the uh, CSS style sheet, uh, which is affected, and I say mostly uh, this area there and the. So this is the CSS of it, very straightforward. Um, this affects only the wrapper itself. We've got a border and uh, uh, a width set on it. These are for the list items themselves. Um, we've knocked off its norm normal styling attribute there and uh, set it to none, and then reset the margins and pad in uh, to make it snap nicely to where we want it. Then we've got the list item itself. Once again, you just have to force it to go in line, and this uh, height here will check the uh, sets. I call it the overlap factor. So uh, as you change it, you'll see the words getting closer and closer to each other, and going over, the lines will go on top of each other. Um, straightforward a linking. Not interested in those. And these are the four default four uh, sizes that we set out, just so that we can get some kind of uh, effect even without the JavaScript. Okay, that's the uh, CSS of it. So this is the uh, JavaScript of it, the engine, the core of it. It's basically about uh, one big function here called uh, do cloud links, which is as a configuration area. And we also rely on three, four very small uh, support functions here. One which gets uh, a list of uh, random, well, sorry, gets a random color from the list that you've already set up. Uh, and one here in particular that gets uh, a random size um, between a range so we can throw at it any two numbers and hopefully this should come back um, with uh, a random number within that range okay um, but uh, as always I put a config area uh, in here if you're going to rip it off you might as well have it made easy for you so here you go comma separated colors of interest that you like they'll be randomly selected from another random area that we'll be using is a number between 80 and 160 um, and that will for me apply it to the font because I put percentages on here if you want to use pixels put something you like 12 18 and px in the box what I've done here is as I said if the random number generated between those two is less than 100 put a bold face on it as well because they get too small. Um, another option we've got in here is I want to say exactly what is going to be affected by this JavaScript. So basically, it's going to be all A anchors inside uh, with this class applied to them, and uh, nothing else will be affected. So you can have more anchors in the uh, container. So we're walking through the uh, DOM node here again, as I say, and we're just going to apply a load of um, actions uh, as we go through. First of all, generate the random number between the parameters that we set, and then we say here, if the random number is below the threshold, which I put down as 100, then uh, please stick a, uh, uh, a bold face on it. And we're also saying if it's uh, a modulus of 5 or divisible, whole part divisible 5, this random number, then stick an underline on it. Um, other than that, apply that random number and its font size attribute 
then go and get a random colour from the list using the random colour picker and um, don't forget two small actions here which is the mouse over and the mouse out we need those really just to reset the colours um, otherwise uh, JavaScript will forget to do that and uh, you'll lose your effect so that's it really pretty straightforward um, nice effect all in all this was it uh, with nothing applied that's the site with basic CSS and here we go with the uh, JavaScript enable version that does all the funky bits that we want okay that's it cloud tags they're great <laughs>